Well, this is this is pretty impromptu, just kind of going with the flow here, but hey guys, how's it going? I have some old, I mean old masking fluid. I got this a long time ago. I've never even used masking fluid before, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Um, I want to paint a vintage teapot with some gouache and watercolor. I, I want to preserve the shape of this. We're going to try this stuff out and see what happens. It looks really old. <laughs> it's probably two years old. Oh my word, it smells like hmm, something familiar, something a little unpleasant. I don't know what spurred the inspiration to paint a teapot, but I want to do this. Oh my goodness, I already... Okay, will it take my pencil off? Do I cover the whole thing? Guys, how do I do this? Where's my watercolor mom? Hello, Alice, come here, help me. Well, this stuff was not what I envisioned. Uh, it's a lot less viscous than I thought it would be, meaning it's like very liquidy, but also it piles on very high on the paper. I had some other footage of this, but I decided to eliminate most of it. It was quite the learning curve. My whole thought is this stuff is probably very old. I think I actually probably bought it very old at Blix. It kind of looked like it was collecting dust, so it, it probably was. But you know what, at least I tried it, and at least I stunk up my art room with it made it nice and potent. The color was really pretty. I mean, this mint color. Can't go wrong with mint, right? What's your favorite color? Tell me in the comments, guys. I want to know. Yeah, so I'm trying to peel this off right now, and it actually did fail. I think this masking fluid is just too old, but like, it is not coming off the paper at all. Like, I've watched videos of people removing this stuff, it is not supposed to do this. Like, I think my masking fluid is just too old slash cheap. I don't know. This is annoying. <laughs> Rest in peace, little dude. I give up. You're done. Bye. All right, let's rewind a day again. You can see the teapot masking fluid drying in the corner. But we're going to talk about the next art project. So this video is kind of weird. It is all over the place. Basically, what happened is I got this huge streak of inspiration when we came home from our Thanksgiving trip. So I made four paintings complete and attempted five. The attempt is lurking in the corner and we already discussed it so yeah but i i decided just to do a couple gouache paintings so i'm going to show them to you they aren't all completely filmed but um this is what happens when mira Byler goes crazy in her studio really late at night i just decided to film little bits and pieces of it so i hope you enjoy this we are painting a tea tin right now with gouache paint and I'm kind of just, I don't really know what inspired this. Um, maybe just the color palette. Maybe because I drank myself sick with tea over the holidays. I don't know. I've had so much tea in the last week. Like, I'm not kidding. Just the thought of it makes me kind of sick. Also, I got sick before Thanksgiving and I puked. And the last thing I had drank before then was lemon ginger tea. So I can never drink that again. I don't think that that was done. Just a random tidbit. But yeah, we're painting this tin and it looks kind of vintage, but two dimensional. I really like that look. I feel like it lends itself this fun folk art kind of feeling. So that's what I tried to achieve. But you won't see too much of this because we're going to move on to the next thing soon. But yeah, 
I made the flavor Lady Grey tea because that is a comfort tea for me. But actually, you know what? I like Prince of Wales better than Lady Grey. Oh my goodness. Guys, tell me your favorite tea flavor in the comments. That can be your comment of the day. And if you are not a tea person, let me know too. Because if you're not, or if you are, I also want to know how you like your coffee. <laughs> this is a huge deal to me. Coffee and tea. Yum. Delicious. So... I did go in and do some darker pinks just to make the edges of the tin pop a little bit and add a couple details. I thought the pink really brought it to life and I was really excited about this. But I'm also really bummed that the teapot didn't turn out. So I think I'm going to redo it. Um, I do still have the piece of paper so I could like trace the pot and just not use masking fluid. <laughs> my new enemy. I think my absolute favorite part about this tea tin is the fact that it's not shaded. Two-dimensional, but there's so much detail. This literally, it took me a long time. It really did. I mean, I know I did four paintings in one night, but I was probably doing this for like 10 hours. So not this piece, but like all of them together. Maybe not 10 hours. I don't remember. It was really fun though. Okay, I also have to tell you something else. So while I did this, I was binging all my favorite YouTubers because it is Christmas season and it is so fun around Christmas because everybody uploads more. So let me just slide into letting you know that my schedule is changing as well. I will be uploading three times a week. I'll be doing Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I've had a couple of you ask me about my schedule. Just wanted to let you know. Here's the finished tea piece. But now, here's another snippet of another piece. So I didn't film all of the processes. I just kind of merged a lot of stuff into one video. And at the beginning of this piece, I was a little bit busy watching YouTube and stopping a lot and drinking coffee and stuff. So yeah, this one is probably my favorite one though. It was um, kind of inspired by like my college experience because I used to dissect butterflies. This is a moth though, um, but I just, I really like butterflies and moths now. So yeah, decided to do some fun illustrations with this and I thoroughly enjoyed it. This one will be in my shop on December 1st, too. Just going to let you know, all of these will be in my shop on December 1st. A little bit of self-promo there. <laughs> the little white stars in the background, I felt like really made the piece pop. So that's might be one of my favorite parts. I don't know. And then here's this one, which is so bold and fun and beautiful because all that gold shines in the light. And it was really fun to just be bold with this like obnoxious pink color. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, sorry I didn't film all of the moth pieces though. All right guys, it's the next day. Here's the aftermath of my event. <laughs> I was up so late, but look at this guy. Ah, so pretty. So I got way carried away. I think I made four paintings last night. Anyway, thanks for watching this random art video. This is what happens when I get over inspired. <laughs> I just make so much art and it felt really good to do this. It was like stress relieving. By the way, all of these little paintings will be in my shop on December 1st. I'm doing a huge holiday sale. I love doing sales right before Christmas because I think it's really cool to get people like one of a kind handmade things, but also because it supports little businesses like me. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.